Week 5 brings up the Philadelphia Eagles. And we're about to get into it real quick and dirty. Well, dirty in the sense that this is going to be less the traditional style video that you would get from me because I'm playing with a brand new set of sliders. And these are the ones from Charter 04 that just came out a couple of days ago. The link should be down below in the description if you want to check them out. But one thing I will say about his slider set is that it makes the gameplay much different than in my other videos. And you guys are going to be able to notice that right off the bat. So let's get to it. Now the Eagles won the toss and elected to receive first. Wentz with the snap from center with trips left. Looking for a receiver, but my user linebacker is right there to break up the pass. And that brings up second and ten. Staying with the passing attack, Wentz. Looking for Deshaun Jackson, but he's covered by Brian Poole. And now Philadelphia is in third and long. Out of an empty set now, Wentz from the gun. Launches it downfield, but is picked off by Daryl Roberts at the 38-yard line. So you can already see how the sliders are affecting the CPU logic as far as the quarterback goes. Wentz threw in the coverage twice and on the last throw was an overthrow and an interception. But now we'll take a look at the defense. Picking things up here on second and four, I take the snap under center and scramble outside of the pocket trying to evade the tackler at the last second but run out of bounds. I did all that running for a two yard gain. That was crazy. But on third and short, I find Anderson across the middle on the slant and that's going to move the chains up to the 38 yard line. The next play, Le'Veon Bell gets stood up dead in his tracks and we're going to lose three on that play bringing up second and 13. Out of the pistol now, Darnold has to get rid of it quick and finds a Nunwa open downfield. A bit of a lucky completion there if you ask me, but I'll definitely take it. On first and 10, Le'Veon with the carry looking for daylight, but there is none. So early on, the Philadelphia run defense looks pretty tough. That brings up second and 10 though. Looking to go back to the passing attack, Herndon makes the grab and he's only going to pick up a couple. And now we're faced with third and long, well technically third and eight. Out of the gun now, Darnold drops it in the bucket to Crowder for the touchdown. So the eight play opening drive results in a Jamison Crowder touchdown and as you see here he's able to get behind McLeod as he cheats up to cover the tight end and at that point it just becomes backyard pitch and catch for the easy touchdown. The Eagles start their next drive at the 21. Wentz from an empty set dumps it underneath to a wide open receiver. I think that's Aguilar on the grab and he'll have enough for the first down and some. The Eagles are showing pass with three receivers on the field. Wentz with the play action fake, drops back, tries to find a receiver but gets taken down by Quinnen Williams. The rookie out of Bama gets his first NFL sack here in week five and you know I gotta give him a highlight. Cue up the music. After the play fake, it looked like Wentz might be able to complete a pass, but the coverage downfield held up, which made Wentz hold on to it a little bit too long, and once that happened, Q Will went right into attack mode and got to Wentz for the sack. And what's even more impressive is that he was able to beat all pro center Jason Kelsey on the play. So hopefully that gives us some kind of insight on what his dev trait might be because I still haven't unlocked it, which reminds me I still need to update you guys on all the player progression, so expect to see that soon. But on 3rd and 22, the user is back! Marcus May comes up with the interception and he baited Carson Wentz into throwing that one all the way. That was a nice play. And a quick side note, I think it was back in Madden 17, a lot of people used to ask me, hey man, how come you don't get so many user picks like this creator or like that guy over there? And at the time, I just didn't know what to tell him. But the honest reason is, I just couldn't get in the position I needed to be in because the controls were all over the place. But now it's so dialed in, speaking of which, Darnold and Crowder are on the same page as they hook up for another score. But the user control in this game is pretty much perfect, and I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree, but that's just the way that I see it. But getting back to the gameplay here on 2nd and 13, Jamal Adams lays the boom with a little help from the user, which forces yet another Philadelphia first quarter turnover. So the offense takes the field looking to capitalize. Darnold drops back, setting up the screenplay to Bell. He makes the grab, gets a nice block downfield, and he's going to take it all the way up to the 11-yard line. But a couple plays later on 3rd and 4, I throw my first interception of the season. And you guys know for me to make it three games without throwing a pick is a mini accomplishment in itself because I usually throw one to two picks a game easily. But now we get to reset the streak and see how long it takes for me to throw my next one. If I can throw one every three games, I'll definitely take that. But anyways, the Eagles have it here at the 39. Wentz drops back with the play fake and is picked off by the user Avery Williamson. That's going to be his third interception this season. And from a user standpoint, like I mentioned a moment ago, your boy is just completely locked in. Just like the interception with Marcus May, another example here of baiting the quarterback, Williamson is able to jump the route and hop right in front of Zach Ertz for the interception. 
So we set up shop here at the 30 yard line. Bell gets the handoff from Darner off the left side, stiff arms the defender, and he'll pick up eight or nine yards on the play, but unfortunately the drive stalls and we're forced to settle for three. But with that, we extend our lead to 17. Now I'm sure you guys can already get a sense of how this game went for me because we're already up 17 points. We forced a quick three and out, and in a couple plays, we got right back into the red zone, which leads to this on first and goal, the quick toss to Le'Veon Bell. He stiff arms a would-be tackler and walks in for the touchdown. So the Eagles next possession starts down 24, Wentz hands it to Howard and he gets tackled immediately but also gets injured on the play, then Howard gets escorted to the locker room with the status to return listed as doubtful. So facing a second and long now, Wentz delivers a pass caught by the tight end and Jamal Adams hits him and forces the fumble. I have completely lost count of how many times Jamal Adams has forced fumbles this season. It might only be a handful of times, but it's starting to feel like anytime he gets near an offensive player they cough it up. So that might need to be addressed. But back to our offensive drive on second and nine, Darnold coughs up the ball and the Eagles recover and the first touchdown of the day for Philadelphia is going to be scored by their defense. But at some point you expect for the offense to wake up, right? I mean, they're not going to struggle the entire game on all Madden. They're just not. And with the completion there on third and six, I'm thinking maybe now might be the time they start charging to come from behind. But on first and ten, Wentz gets picked off trying to make a play downfield. Despite the user pick, he forced it into coverage, and things are unraveling fast for this Philadelphia offense. Now, some quick thoughts on the slider set as you guys are watching my next drive. I'll just come out and say it, I don't think that these sliders are for me. While there are some positives like the CPU coverage being a bit better and the CPU pass blocking being improved as well. And I say better in a sense that I'm able to actually generate a pass rush instead of my defensive lineman being constantly stonewalled every single possession. But that's pretty much where it stops. And again, this is just for me in my opinion. I know others are going to have a different experience on them altogether. And here's a quick example of the better coverage I was talking about. The Eagles had everybody manned up and I couldn't find anywhere to go with it so I had to take a sack on the play. But the primary issue that I have with this slider set and slider sets in general is that the AI for CPU quarterbacks and running backs are just really hard to nail down. And you'll kind of get a better sense for what I'm talking about here in this series right here. Check out how Carson Wentz just methodically marches downfield, dumping it off to the back right there. And then here on second and six, he drops back and delivers a pass to wide open Zach Ertz for a huge chunk of yardage, which eventually leads to this play right here on third and goal. Wentz with the seven step drop hits Deshaun Jackson wide open in the back of the end zone. So you really can't help but question where was that in the first half? But really quick, here's another great example of the pass rush being able to get through. Leonard Williams is able to get the sack on Wentz, unfortunately ending his day early. And that's going to do it for the video as well, folks. The final in this one is 37 to 14, but take a quick look at the bottom left column. We got seven takeaways in this game. That is just ridiculous. And it's pretty safe to say that I won't be using this set for the rest of the series. So you guys definitely don't have to worry about that. I do plan on trying the slider set for I think his name is Matt 10. I've heard some pretty good things about his all Madden slider so I'll likely be giving those a shot next. Anyways, you guys, thank you for rocking with me in this one. I really appreciate the time. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one. Trent said I got style for you Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you Big you up and they look down on you Take one lost, no one's around for you